How you doing everybody? Stock Option Sniper here. I hope you're all doing great. If you traded today, we had a, a lot of catalysts moving the market. Uh, today I had a zone. I, I, I sat out the morning. I had a zone. I wanted the, the price to come up to this zone right here for QQQ. I threw this out in my community. Hopefully, hopefully they took it. So from 283, it ripped up all the way to 289. I didn't catch the entire move at all, but I gave it out to the team. Right? Uh it was it was it was a beautiful play um, and yeah I, i'm today that's what i'm going to share with you guys right how do i find these order blocks today is going to be about order blocks and what's usually happening right let's hydrate there real quick so yes you guys today we're going to talk about order blocks and how do you find order blocks Right, you guys ask me what order blocks is the best, what what time frame does it work best, where do you think I should I should have my zone properly? Well, I'm always going to tell you, right? The best the best zone that you can use is zones that are left unmitigated. Right? Like I have a zone here for QQQ and this area right here was unmitigated. So I said I'm gonna use that. And what happened? We waited patiently for the price to come down there and look what happened. It bounced all the way up. So if you caught that bounce, it was a great bounce. Even though, even though it was moved, it was moved by catalyst. I really wanted price to come up here and take out price going higher to two ninety five, right? I really want that. Like tomorrow, I see the price going even more higher, right? Even taking out this two ninety one liquidity, right? Not financial advice, you guys. That's just what my, that's just what my analysis is telling me. Right, this 291 and uh 43 area, this high. I want that to be taken out tomorrow. However, that's not the point. It's not to create a it's not to create a, a watch list for you guys, but it is to create order blocks. We can go to any stocks, any stock, right? Let's look at AMD for example. Right, I had AMD here. What's AMD doing? I love that. I have AMD coming up here and falling to the zone. I don't know when I drew this, but Let's see if you delete everything. No, 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 no. I want AMD to come up to this to this zone right here, order block. Right? I'm gonna delete everything. Don't worry about it. Right, let's look at the four hour. I've told you guys how to find the story of your stock and what's going on, right? I believe I have a video on that on find the story. So as you can see right here, you're going to ask yourself, what is happening here on my four hour in this scenario? Right, you're going to see that you have an order block here, right? Right here. This last down move before the up move. This is an unmitigated area. You guys see that? The next on the next video, I'm going to show you guys order block 2.0. This one right here, we're going to specifically talk about order block. Right? You can use this zone right here, have zone come up to this price right have zone come down to this price excuse me not up right come down here and then potentially taking out that new high of the 79 that's what we want happening here right if it breaks down hey kudos to the market change of plan now we're looking to liquidate the 54 area right but this overall is what we want this this uh this this pullback around this area right this right here is an entire zone right here i'm going to show you guys in that next video that i'm going to create however if you are refining it you do want that last down move before this run up up move and this was probably catalyst to the news use catalyst right that's what we want so when price starts coming here people start saying oh it's bearish no it's not bearish that's what we want we want it to pull back create that right take out the liquid the the recurring liquidity that they have open here for the composite man and take the price higher and higher and now people's going to be wondering oh it's overextended the price is taking high while price is just going higher and higher and they're just confused as heck what's happening right they're just getting caught up and caught up that is what we want here right and i do see this potentially bouncing in this area because we had a mitigated portion right here. This is why this bounce is happening, right? And that's your order block right there on your weekly. You guys see what's happening there? You guys see what I did there? 
All I did was find that last down move before the up move, right? That last down move before the up move. Awesome. I'm going to put it there and look what happened when I extend it. So you had to wait patiently for your price to happen. Patiently, you had to wait. Right? You had to wait patiently for this entire price action. I don't know how long this is on my weekly, but right? But you knew they were going to mitigate at some point. And it's the same thing going to the upside. So let's see if we can take out this new high, this 79 area. Then once we have that 79 area, take out this 103 around here, around this 104. Take out this new high, this new high, taking out higher and higher. Right? If not, the market will become short. It is what it is and will go short, right? we rather be wrong once in a trend than be wrong multiple times, right? So if we break this down low, you know we're gonna keep going down and liquidate this 37 area. But let's, I, I don't, I don't, I don't really see that happening right now for AMD. I do see a bounce up, right? So this is how you're finding your order blocks, right? This is your order blocks. This is how you're finding them, right? Look at that, you guys. This is how you're finding your order block. That last down move before that up move, you can use this candle, right? Or you can use this entire candle right here. You guys see that? Have price come down here in NEO and take out those high. Let's look for examples, right? This last down move before the up move, where is that? It's around here. I'm looking for like an example that's going to happen that last down move before the up move. And you can use the same thing when it comes to supply zone, right? That last up move before the down move, the wick itself I like. I, I shared you guys, I shared with you guys the last video of that. However, in this scenario, it did not barely touch, right? But if you do include this green candle, that last up move before the down move, hey, why not? Right? I love refining zones. Uh, I love refining zones, yes. Because when I refine zone, I am most likely to miss my play. However, when price does come into that zone, I am most likely to be profitable in that play as well. So I'm willing to be patient and just willing to wait for it. And I'm okay if I miss my play. Not a big deal. Right, that last down move before that up move. And I, I'm going to show you guys a great example on what happening with QQQ. Look at that. Right, price comes up, breaks, boom, what happened? Mitigates. Right, and look at the wick itself here for, for this area right here. Look at that, that red candle, th that red candle right here, this red candle. I'm just gonna put it right by the wick because in the in the lower time frame, that shows an imbalance around that. Like it's, a, it's its own order block. Where is it? Where's that? Uh... Right here, right? You guys see that the wick, the wick itself, it's its own pull, uh, it's its own pullback. What do I mean by that? So itself in a lower time frame, this has this, right? That wick is this pullback, right? It's its own order block. So price comes up to that, price comes up to that order block, and runs, right? That wick right there. That's also refining, by the way. That's also a, refi a refinement of your zones. Okay. You guys see that? You're just looking for where is that last down move before the up move. And like I said, please write it down. The rule to create the best zones is usually zones that are unmitigated. I need to hydrate. Right? The best zones are zones that are left unmitigated. Like if you ask yourself around this area right here, it's a little bit of messy price action around here. But ask yourself, this right here was the structure. Now we're gonna go to we're gonna take this on the downside. Let me let me delete everything. We're gonna take this to the downside. We had a structure here, boom, great. This this entire this entire impulse was broken down by this candle, right? This parabolic red. So ask yourself, where was that last down move before that up move? Well, it's right here.
that green candle right there. And what happened? All you had to do was wait for price to come up there. So you would have waited for price to come to waited one, two, three, about four days. And the moment you open, you could have broke that down in lower time frame. I show you guys my strategy that you use. Right? Let's make this green. And then you're going to break that down. The rules are 30. We don't have eight minutes. If you don't know how I got the eight minutes, relook my video on uh, on my strategy on rules of 30. Right. And right here, you could break that down. Right. You can break that down. You have your UTAD right here. Right, you have your UTAD. Boom. Sign of weak. Oh, you have your UT, sign of weakness. UTAD right here, up rest after distribution, the retest, and from there it just keeps on falling and falling. Right. If you guys also don't know what I'm talking about, this is the white cuff distribution. I also break that down in some of my video, so go ahead and check that out. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be much clearer if you see this video, right? Look at that delivering beautifully for us. All we did was I'm going to find my last up move in this scenario. I'm going to find my last up move before that down move. What was responsible for that? Technically, it was this green candle right there, right? If you wanted to refine it to the wick, you can of that red candle right there, the wick, and still would be fine, right? That is the refinement. And look, it, beautiful, it delivered beautifully for us. And what you're going to do is you're going to target that same exact structure, right? I show you guys. So if you got it from here, you're targeting the low of here, right? Right, that low, that low right there, the structure, that wick, right? You're looking to that, for that to be liquidated, taking out 80%. 80% of your position if you're doing what I'm doing and just leaving the other 20% to run and run. And look what happened here. Just beautiful. Right? It works. This is my personal strategy. You guys can use it. I'm not charging you guys anything. You guys can use it. Just 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 back test it on your uh just keep on back testing and back testing it until you guys understand it. Right? So yes, the best zones that you use, the best order block you can use is basically the unmitigated portion, those are the best ones for me, right? Oops, that's not it. Right. Uh, what do we have here? We have, let's go for one more example and then I'm gonna break down, I'm gonna break down the 2.0 for you guys, right? Uh, this was my uh, accumulation, right? So you guys get the point, you guys understand it. It's, uh, we're making it pretty simple. It works in any time frame. It works in any time frame, right? So you could be at the four hour and you can look for those order blocks, but you just have to wait longer. So like in this scenario, you would wait, right? Technically, I don't like I don't like this because this entire move is within this entire structure right here from this entire up move to the down move. So this entire up move to me is fake structure. Why is it fake structure? Because it's still in a range from this this high to this low, it has it has not broken anything. So what what I want is this. I wanna I wa I'm aware that this price action is all in this in this uh in this area, right? So what I want is for me to break down this entire price action right here. You can refine it from here, right? That last down move, literally that last down move to the up move, waiting for price to come here, or on the next video, I can show you guys the order block 2.0, which is you're finding the high, that giant move all the way to that giant candle. Or you can take 50% of that, right? I'm just going to eyeball it 50%. I'm going to just put it to the body. And look, you just wait for your price to come and touch. And you guys see that? And boom, have that run up. Right? Pretty simple. Right? Pretty simple. All I did was find the, sh the 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 structure that was responsible for this entire move, right? Which was from this high to this low. And then I refined it to the 50%, making it the candle of this red candle. I just eyeballed it, right? So this is my 50%. And what happened, we got that touch, 
security just mitigated it and price just starts to run and run and run and run and now what are we looking to take out this 3.950 right right there that is your target now that you have the mitigation you could have broke that down broke this down in lower time frame from find your white off uh, as you can see this this right here on the lower time frame looks like this looks like this right we had that down move now we have equal lows right and then we have that spring waking it all the way and what happened we have that reaccumulation test sign of strength and boom just that run up that's how that looks in the lower time frame that wick right there is the spring beautiful beautiful right so i just wanted to share that with you guys uh, on the next video i'm going to create the 2.0 uh you guys can use this the the next one for the swing trading this one is if you have a job if you don't want to be on the computer all day you just want to find the setup and have it run you can you can also use this but the next one is specifically for that so uh, if you stay this long guys i appreciate each and every one of you and i'll see you on the next one peace